Hey YouTube, Steamboat Aquatics here. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce it. Steamfot Aquatics here. Uh, I think we're on what day four of the 28 day challenge, and uh, just left the post office, mailed out seven or eight T-shirts. So hopefully you guys will get those pretty soon. And uh, now we're heading on down to the co-op, so we should have a lot of fun there. Hopefully Corey will be there, and we can uh, maybe give it, get him on camera. Or get, get something out of them. But uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. So I'm here, and uh, since these are gonna be quick videos now, I'm just gonna kinda touch on some highlights, take a look at the tanks I like the best, and uh, I'm not gonna do a whole store tour because we're busy, I got things to get, got prizes to acquire, so. I'll definitely touch on some of the better looking tanks or some of my favorites. And we're gonna start with the one right behind me. So I thought this was really cool. It's not often you see a large group, a large school of denison barbs. Granted, they're not the biggest rose line sharks, but still just seeing what, 30 or 40 of them in here schooling around with the jungle vow. I think that's pretty awesome. And you got the bigger one, you can kind of see how big they're going to get. There's one down here, and they'll even get an inch or two bigger than that. It's like somebody finally got the super red Agazizi eye pair that was in here. That's unfortunate. They were always my favorite. Uh, empty tank, of course, the uh, cardinal tank with the massive glare. Move from the side, and from the top. Yeah, I guess that's a little better. Now, this is one of my favorite tanks. I'm glad that this one never changes when I'm here. Got a Mabu Puffer hanging out up here. Even worse lair, but... Another awesome fish. And you know I like to hide back here in the corner on this six foot by four foot tank. and play with Murphy here. Super busy in the store right now, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk him into feeding him. Maybe though, maybe. But man, I can't wait till mine is this size. All kinds of fry in here, guppies, Siamese algae eaters. Shrimp. Always awesome to see this tank. I think this is a red lotus plant, java fern, huge pieces of bulbitis, guppy grass in there, a monster, monster crinum calamistratum growing there. Looks like some Vesuvius sword floating in the back there. But uh, yeah, we'll check back in with Murphy if I can get him to drop a few clams in there. Here's another favorite tank of mine. Uh, one of the reasons is simply because of the millions of dollars of stone in the back wall there. That's ridiculous. If you get in close enough, you'll end up seeing fry swimming around in all the cracks. Of course, you probably won't see any now. Hmm. Bunch of uh, bristlenose pucko fry in here, too. <laughs> Nice piece of Anubis Nana there. There's a little bristle nose fry. And we've got a nice clump of the Vesuvius sword plant here. It's pretty sweet. But yeah, this is always one of my favorite tanks when I come in here. I figure I'll get these on film for short inches. She's a Danio nerd. These are the orange fin Danios, or orange hatchet Danio. Which I think are pretty sweet looking. If I back up and zoom in on them. Yeah, that's the ticket. Right here we got another giant school of Danios. These are zebra Danios. And uh the underrated fish, I feel. They look pretty awesome. They're really inexpensive. 
and look really cool in massive amounts like this. Here we go. All right, handful of snails. He's ready for them. Popcorn chicken. He's facing the other way. Let's see if she bites real quick. Oh, yeah, there's the blood. What's up? Oh, no, it's not. Find that one, I'll sell more. Still super busy in here, so glad I was able to see a feeding. Boy, it's going to take him a while to get through all those. I'm surprised he doesn't eat them whole. They will pass the uh, shells. Generally not a big, or a big deal for him. Let's see if I can get his teeth. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just going to watch it for a while. You guys can skip through if you don't want to watch, but this is pretty cool, I think. Mailman's here. There's a big mouthful. Oh, that one snail, he's going to live. He's gonna float to the top and maybe sneak back into the plants. That snail should buy a lotto ticket. Check this out, the ninja snail. Where'd he go? There he is, he's floated all the way to the back of the tank. He's trying to come out of his shell now, but he needs to stay in there and float back to the corner and get behind these plants. He'll be found out eventually. All right, so this is why I hate getting in anywhere close to Seattle. Uh, we left Aquarium Co-op at 3.30. It's now, what? 5.10. 5, 5 o'clock. And Aquarium Co-op is exit 177. We are at exit 183. So in an hour and a half, we have gone six miles on the freeway. Luckily, uh, Charles Fish Tank has started streaming. So, uh... At least I'll get some entertainment for the rest of the way home. Hopefully he has another five hour stream because that's how long it's going to take to get home. Although now he's buffering. Oh geez, nothing's going right on this drive home. I hate Seattle. All right, YouTube, so I am back from Aquarium Co-op. It was just super slammed in there. I really couldn't get that great of footage, but uh, hopefully what I got for you is we'll, we'll hold you over until the next time I make it down there, which after this drive back, that's going to be a while because, man, I hate driving in that Seattle traffic. I did pick up quite a few things for my giveaway, which we'll get to in just a minute, but first we're going to take a look at the 40-gallon breeder here and see how I failed miserably with the erythromycin on getting rid of the blue-green algae and what my next plan of attack will be. So as you can see, I mean, yeah, okay, some of it's dead, but it's pretty much all still caked everywhere. 
Well, I, now that I'm looking at it, I would say it probably got about half of it, but it's certainly not dead. It's just going to come right back. So, I say fail. Big time fail there. So what I'm going to do is probably just take the fish out of here and fill this thing up with hydrogen peroxide. And that'll, that'll get rid of it in a day, guaranteed. So, obviously I'm not going to fill the whole thing up with hydrogen peroxide. It'll be 3% solution. And I'll probably put in, I don't know, maybe a gallon. We'll see. There's not going to be anything alive in there, so these plants are basically already dead to me anyway, so if it kills the plants, big deal. So that will be my next plan of attack, but that will be for a different day because I want to show you what I got at Aquarium Co-op. All right, here we are. I've got four packages here, and each of these are filled with the same thing for one. But uh, what are they filled with? Well, I'll show you. So I'm going to be giving away five of these, and I've got one that's still unpacked. So let's see. So first, we got a pack of four Wonder Bulbs, which uh, these are a Pont and Geaton. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not going to butcher that word again there. A Pont and Geaton, a Pont and Geaton species. Uh, just random species. Basically, if you don't know what these are, they, they'll they sprout. You put them anywhere. You don't even have to bury them. They'll sprout. They'll grow. Basically, this guy here, this is an Apontagetan. Apontagetan. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, that's what this guy is. And, and So like I said, they sprout. They grow for seven months, they die back for about a month, and then they grow again for seven months and die, and it's just a vicious cycle. But it's pretty neat to see. And that's that's one of them here. And this is from a Wonder Bulb that I got at Aquarium Co-op. There's another one. Oops. Sorry about that. Regrowing in here. So this one does get beat up quite a bit, but it still grows. It still dies off. Um, and I'm not sure what happened to the other two. They're in one of my myriad of tanks. So anyways, what's next? Uh, I thought these were cool, so I got these for everyone. Just the uh, scoops. Uh, tablespoon, teaspoon, uh, I believe. No, way off. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna be able to see that. Half a teaspoon, that looks pretty big. And, well this is a this is a quarter teaspoon. It's upside down. Wow, that looks pretty big. Anyways, there you go. I thought those were neat. And of course, got the bottle of Easy Green Co-op, uh, Aquarium Co-op Easy Green All-in-One Fertilizer. What else do we got in here? Uh, you're gonna get four Never Clog Air Stones, which look kind of like those party popper things that you pull the string and they explode. But these are awesome. You're gonna get four of those. Uh, what is this? Extra battery camera. You're not gonna get this. Don't know why that's in there. Glad I didn't seal that up. You'll get a small piece of chala wood. And then a pack of omnivore pellet mix, which uh, you know, all my fish love this stuff, so you get a pack of that. So pretty good value there. Uh, spent a pretty penny on it, so I so hope uh, you all appreciate that, all the winners. Pretty neat little package. I know I'd be excited to get it. Uh, put everything back in here. The only other thing that I wanted to put in here that I couldn't find, and I probably should have asked them, was the uh, root tabs. I would have loved to have picked up some root tabs and throw those in here. But it was busy, so I just grabbed, grabbed some stuff. I'm sure you guys can relate. But yeah, so I'll be giving away five of these. And uh, now let's take a look at what I got for myself. Alright, so here's some of the things, well, all the things I got for me. I got the big bottle of Easy Green for me, just because I go through this stuff so fast that... Uh, you know, it just makes sense to get the big bottle. Uh, I got an intake sponge for my FX6. Whoa, there we go. 
And the nice thing about this one is it doesn't have the hole on each end, which I find a lot of them do, which makes absolutely no sense to me. So this will be probably something I'm going to do tomorrow is put that on my FX6. And uh, I really wanted to get these guys to try them out. Freeze-dried brine shrimp. Uh, yeah. It says, fish can't resist. Well, we're going to put that to the test. I got a pack of this for myself, the omnivore pellet mix, as well as a nice big container of it. And then I was able to sweet talk them into filling up one of these cups with the fry food and selling it to me. Uh, you know, don't, don't pester him and bug him to do this because he did that for me, which was really nice of him. I don't know if he's doing this yet, so if it's not on the website, try not to bug him too much about that. Um, I had to bend his arm to get, to get this, especially on a busy day like today, so, you know, just be respectful there and uh, be glad for me. <laughs> or be jealous, whatever, whatever emotions you're feeling. I'm sure a lot of you don't even care. But now, to the grand finale. This right here is actually a hoodie. So I am a big nut for like collector, special edition, collector's edition, anything like that. So this, like you can't even get this. So this is gonna be awesome. Like I said, I'm a big nerd for like one of a kind stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean you could, you could take a crap in a box and mark it special edition and I would buy it. That's how much of a nerd I am for that stuff. I don't know how I'm going to open this. Uh, apparently they wanted to send this up into space or something, but it's freeze dried packed. And I guess I just rip it across the top there. So that's easier than I thought, but uh, let's see if I can do this on cam without cutting up this hoodie. Hopefully this is, if, I don't know if you guys have bought a mattress online and have it shipped to you. Or like a queen size mattress comes shipped in like a one foot box and you open it up and it like springs out and just throws you back a hundred feet. Hopefully I don't get the same effect here. So there you go. My freeze dried, vacuum packed, aquarium co-op hoodie. Uh, the logo's on the back, which is kind of weird, I think. I don't know if that's normal. Uh, I think most of my hoodies have the logo on the front. So, let's flip it around here. Yeah, nothing on the front. Yeah, that just makes it even more one of a kind. So yeah, this is super awesome. We're pretty, pretty stoked about this. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this video, I think. It's actually been a really long day. Another day of not really getting anything done in the fish room, but definitely getting a lot of things done behind the scenes from spending an hour and a half at the post office shipping those shirts. Um, I did look into international shipping, and uh, it's like $31 to ship a shirt internationally. So I'm really not sure how that's going to work out yet, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I don't know figure something out. Of course, that's just through the post office. I guess I can still check like FedEx or DHL or I, I don't even know. But uh, so there, I guess there is still a few other companies. So, you know, I'll definitely look into those. Also, you know, I'm sure some of you have known that we're missing about 3,500 comments on the contest video. So I put in a ticket with YouTube. Not sure what's going on there. We didn't break any rules. So they better put them back because that's, that's ridiculous. So we'll see what they say. They're supposed to get back to me today, but nothing. The channel of the day. I am going to tell you about Charles Fish Tanks, which some of you, I'm sure, already know about him. Um, obviously, you saw me watching his live stream earlier. We did a five-hour live stream on my channel a couple weeks ago, and I think hopefully I'll get on his channel. But just a really cool, smart dude. I'm future CEO of Fluval. Uh, knows a lot about angelfish and diseases and just just a guy that spends a lot of time researching a lot of different things so check out his channel as always it'll be popping up around here somewhere not sure where and uh i'm not sure what we'll be doing tomorrow in here but uh stay tuned we'll figure out something i'm actually going to do something in the fish room
this is two days in a row of nothing. So, yeah, I will see everyone tomorrow.